Good day, this is Simon Browning, and in this Typo3 tutorial video, we are going to demonstrate how to upload and attach PDFs to text on a page. So you can see on the page here, I'm looking at the demo.ca, and I've been setting up this tutorial, and I have some text. This text will link to PDF1, and this text will link to PDF2, and I want to link those to the PDFs. So uh, I haven't even uploaded the files yet, so I'm going to log into the back end. I've actually already done that, and if I click on page, you can see that uh, this is the page tree, and that's the page that we're working on. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the file list, and I'm going to upload my files through the file list. Now, if you're more comfortable with FTP, you could upload that way as well, but having the file list available makes it easy to upload through Typo3 as well. So in my file list, I have two file mounts, one called images and one called PDF library. Depending on how your site's set up, you might have different mounts. You might just have one, you might have many, um, or you might have different folders. You can upload pretty much anywhere in here. I could click on PDF library, for instance, and upload the files. I could upload them into images too. I can put them anywhere. So, I, but I have PDF library, and I, could, I created a folder called samples because I like to keep them a little bit organized. In fact, let's create another folder just to demonstrate that. So on PDF library, I'm going to click the new button, and we'll create a folder called, well, how about uh, February samples. And then I click create folders, and we get a new folder created. So let's go into that new folder and let's upload our files. Now to do that, I have this icon here, uh, which I have, if I hover over it, tells me it's the upload files button. It's got the green up arrow. So when I click that, I get the uploader dialog. Now this is Typo3 version 4.3. Uh, so it's a little different than previous versions. I can select my files on previous versions. You would actually have a slot for each file you're gonna upload. On this, I just have to click on select files and I need to go and find those files I want to upload, and I have some samples here, sample one and sample two. And I'm going to say upload, and away they go, and they've been uploaded. That's great. So my files are now uploaded. Now, uh, let's go to the page. I can do it in the front end, but in this case, we'll just do it in the back end. Let's go to page, and then to the page in question, how to upload and link text. And this is our sort of main content area here. So we're in the main content area, which is kind of the middle of the page. And let's compare, actually. So if I flip back for a second to the website, here's my main content area. This is the text. And if I click on Edit, I can edit this text. It tells me I've been in here already. That's fine. Um, actually, it tells me SDW Admin. I'm not logged in as this person now. I'm logged in as a uh, standard user. So it's, it says, hey, someone else might have been editing that. In this case, I know it's me, and it's fine. Let's click on Text. And here's the text that we have on the page. You can see that's the same as this here. And so, oops, so what I want to do is I want to highlight the text I want to link, and I want to click on the link button, insert web link. And when I do that, the link browser pops up. Um, and I can link to various things. In this case, I can link to a page on the site. I can link to a file, an external URL, some other website, for instance, or an email address. Well, obviously, I want to link to a file, so I'm going to click on file. And there's my two mounts. And if I open up PDF library, I have folder called February samples and there's that sample one so all I need to do is click on it and the link has been established now because of the way I've styled the back end we can see that it's a link here let's link number two as well and again it's off screen here let's bring it in and we're gonna go to file again and we're gonna go to February samples and we're gonna link to sample two and that's sample two link now so now all I need to do is save I'm actually gonna save and close and let's go look at it at the front end. And if I refresh this, you can see that they're now both linked. If I click on one, it opens up the PDF for me. Um, now, if I wanted that to open up in a separate window, I would add one little thing. So let's go to the back end and let's edit that again. And I'm going to highlight that text again. And I'm going to click the link button again. And uh, in this case, it's already linked, so it's showing me exactly where it's linked to. It's got the little flashing red arrow there. Um, we have something called the target. And with this drop down, I can select new window. And it automatically populates underscore blank over there, which is the web code for opening the link in a new window. Um, so then all I need to do is click the update button, save and close again. And if I go back and refresh, this time when I click the link, it will pop itself into a new window. And it's over here now instead of being the same one. Well, there you go. I hope that helps. Have a great day.